Bloomer, season three, episode four, I think. Okay, let's get started. Welcome back, Frill Nation, to another episode of OK Bloomer. I'm so glad to see you all again and be filming again. I know it's been a little while. Summer's been just, it's just been crazy. It's been too busy. I've had a lot going on even since Paradiso, where I've just been kind of running around like a crazy person. I hope your summer's been really good and I hope we're all getting ready for spooky season when it feels like, one, it's cool enough, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, to actually wear Lolita out and about. And two, you don't get quite as many odd looks when you're wearing it, depending on how close we are to Halloween. You'll probably get a few smart asses who are like, it's not Halloween yet. Bitch, Halloween is more than just a holiday, all right? Halloween is a state of mind, so if you don't like it, I don't care. Anyway, to sidetrack. So at Paradiso, uh, the designer Night Whisper, who you may have heard me talk about before, I've done a couple reviews of her items. She's a Taobao reseller and also does some independent designs on her own. A lot of what she does is she either has deals with certain Taobao brands where she can actually offer custom sizing on some pieces, uh, or she is actually able to order the fabric direct from them and create a custom size for you, or will even do a Franken dress from two different dresses to make sure that you have a garment that's your size and comfortable to wear. I first found her when I was just looking for blouses on a lark one day and found these amazing uh, hime sleeve crop blouses that I now own in a few colors. And I have ordered a few more things from her since. I've been pretty impressed with the quality. I'm really happy with her customer service as well. And the one thing has been that while she does charge a bit of a markup, I believe a lot of it is because one, she does still have to import things from China, from overseas, so she does have to cover her fees in that regard. Also, honestly, for, for the convenience of just going on to Etsy or whatever, it's 100% worth it to me. I'm lazy. I don't want to spend a bunch of time, you know, becoming a Taobao scientist and figuring all of that out. I'd rather just, you know, it's the age of convenience, okay? It's, it's as easy as Amazon. I'd rather just do that. I'm, I'm not, I don't have the time to sit here and become an expert on this shit. So anyway, because I love sidetracking. At Paradiso, she was one of the designers featured in the fashion show to just kind of show what she can do through her shop. And at that time, she also announced that she was launching a separate website from her Etsy, uh, nightwhisperdesigns.com. And I think we're going to start seeing a lot more of this, especially as Etsy's fees for sellers continue to increase. There's also been that controversy where if you if you saw an ad for Etsy on Facebook and if you clicked through to Etsy, even if you didn't buy from the designer or the shop that was being advertised, they would apparently take an advertisement fee out of anyone you purchased from via Etsy. So as things go on, Etsy is becoming less and less favorable to small artisans and independent designers. This is something that I've bitched about in real life multiple times because there was this issue early on with Etsy where what they do is they used to have a program where you could report someone for not being like a small shop or a small independent artisan because that was the whole point was it was supposed to basically be the eBay of indie designers. So what people do is they would report obvious uh, mass produced factory wholesalers and then Etsy would call them out for bullying and ban the complainer's account because Etsy wants to make more money from these wholesalers and they know they can. They would rather make more money from these wholesale shops and these mass production factories and warehouses than what they would make from someone selling menstrual art. Obviously Etsy is a business and web hosting, things like that, they do take a lot of money and time and effort to support. So you have to have people who can monitor the servers and build the websites and check for bugs and things. But at the same time, they're taking it out more and more on their sellers. And it's just, it's not becoming, it's not a platform that holds up to what it says it, it is. It's not a platform for small independent designers. Long story short, Etsy kind of sucks. And it's not great unless you're already like super well known. So it's nice if you don't want to go through all the hassle of like 
setting up a Squarespace business page or anything, but the fees over time that are constantly increasing and some of the issues I've heard they've had with like mischarging shipping and things like that, it's just not worth it for some designers. So anyway, God, sorry, tangents. Nightwhisperdesigns.com was launched, I believe, shortly around Paradiso. It might have been a little sooner than that. She's been hitting the con circuit wherever there's indie fashion shows and doing walks, which I love that for her. And after Paradiso, I can't remember how I found out about it, but she was doing a promotion for her site. She had a pre-order available for some nice dresses that just, you know, came in my size. And one of them was this really lovely sort of butterfly print. And it was a pre-order through her site. She would even give you, I think, like an extra 20 or 15% off if you did it through the site as opposed to through her Etsy account. And even with international shipping, it was only $85. So, uh, you can't, you can't mess with that. You can't like, that's, that's too good of a deal. So, <laughs> so I went, All right, yeah, I've got $85 and I don't mind supporting her. And I was kind of like low key under the impression like, oh, is it like a pre-order? Like, this is like, this is what you pay up front. And then there's a little bit higher charge later, but no, straight up $85 out the gate. It was a pre-order or made to order. So that meant that it would be about like a 10 to 12 week turnaround time. So I just got it last week, which was the last weekend of August. I'm filming this Labor Day weekend. I have not opened it yet, so I wanted to do an unboxing with y'all real quick. I'm pretty excited about it. The dress came in three colors. It came in a black colorway, a blue colorway, and a red colorway. I ordered the blue colorway because, I don't know, I, I have a couple of like all black dresses already, so I was like, eh. The red colorway didn't grab me like the other ones did. I really like blues. I like blues and grays and greens. Navy, gray, maroon, gray. Am I depressed? I think the blue one will match better with my wardrobe. So that's the one I bought. So we're just doing an unboxing today. Right off the bat, I have mixed feelings about shipping things in a bag. There's been horror stories off and on throughout the years of people shipping things in bags or getting things shipped in bags and they've gotten damaged in transit. The bag's gotten ripped open or cut open and the item inside the bag got damaged somehow. So I'm never a big fan of shipping things in bags, but it is, it is intact. It's very sturdy. And it is one of those reusable bags as well. So even when I open it, it says, let's see, reuse ideas. You can cut here, it has a cut line and you can reuse it if you need to, which I think is also useful for if you're a business and you're sending something to a customer that they may need to return. I think that's sort of economical and it looks good to the customer as well because then they were like, oh, if I can return it, I don't have to fuck around and look for like, an appropriately sized box or bag. I can just reuse the original bag it came in. Okay, I think it's in a Ziploc bag in the bag. So that helps a little bit. So as you can see on the inside of the bag, there's this white stripe that protects a glue layer that if you did want to reuse it, that would be the tape that you peel away to reuse it, so. Okay. Oh, it's it's recyclable. All right, we we do. We love to see it. I'm not super great at being like green and eco-friendly. Like I drive 700 miles a week for my job, but I try to reuse things when I can. Like I'm even I bought some microfiber towels at Walmart last week. I hate shopping at Walmart, but I did. And that's because I want to cut them up and reuse them instead of using cotton rounds all the time, just to kind of minimize waste. I don't know. It's it's really hard. It's something I struggle with, is being environmentally conscious. So, oh, oh, bitch. Ooh, 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 this is, oh. So, yep, it is in a nice sealed Ziploc bag, so that's kind of nice. If the bag had gotten any rips or anything, it would have still been protected. Got some waist ties in there. This is a gorgeous blue color. It's almost like a, like a, What's the color? I'm gonna say cerulean. I feel like it's a cerulean. Hold on, what? Graphic design degree. I don't even know what fucking color cerulean is. I watched Pokemon as a kid and I don't know <laughs> what color cerulean is. It's... Okay, it's not cerulean. It's, um... Well, it could be a shade of cerulean. 
I'm gonna say cerulean about uh, 50 times in the next 30 seconds until it no longer makes sense as a word and then we will be all set. It's kind of like a Wedgwood blue. No, it's a little, it's light blue. It's light blue, but it's not sax. It's like a nice pastel blue. I don't know what color to call it, I'm sorry. It's blue. The pen is blue. The pen is blue! It's cornflower, it's like cornflower. There we go, that's fucking words. Ooh, it's soft, ooh. Hey, so this is, it. obviously it's polyester because it was $85, so it's not gonna be a silk chiffon, but it does feel like a solid chiffon. Okay, it's not waist high. Well, it, technically, it's a belt, so you can wear it around your waist um, just to help nip your waist in a little bit. Very nice, beautifully finished. Oh yeah, this is really well done. It, you could also, if you are finally facing the evil ninja who killed your family, you can tie it around your forehead to keep sweat out of your eyes. Oh my, ooh. Oh hell yeah, ah, oh, look at her. This is a very simple design. Like there's no lace. It does need an iron, it does. It's got a little, oh, little ruffle trim at the bottom. Bitches love ruffles. Oh, this is nice. Beautiful job printing. It is a touch blurry, like a little, like a little bit blurry in some spots. Like it was just, I'll, I'll take close ups probably. So it's just a little bit, but it's not terrible. Like you could wear it. It's wearable, it's fine. Ooh, oh, and we've got some beautiful butterflies on here. I don't know why, I'm not like obsessed with butterflies really, but no, this is just really cool. Oh, we got, we got crowns with roses. Hilariously, even though the theme is butterflies, it kind of cracks me up that it's not like, there's no monarch butterflies with the crown because I think that would be kind of funny, but I could also see the pops of bright orange like kind of being jarring oh this is so nice this is really pretty I do have a little bit of a pop of red here as you can tell so this how would i court this i'll be doing some some stuff with it later mm, it is fully lined which we love we stand lining it's got a shirt back not many rows of shirring though there's only only three rows but it is it is still very roomy and the size i got was the 2xl and it's got that size printed inside. The shoulder straps, uh, they do have two different settings. So they got this little guy here, if you need a longer. And they've got, they're on the shorter setting right now. I might need to add one, I don't know, we will see. So I bought it not only because it was a hell of a deal, but also because the bodice appears to be a little bit longer than most bodices. I haven't talked much about it before. I have not bought any of the Meta plus size jumper skirts because they're not making the bodices longer. Because my torso is 90% boob, uh, I just end up with the bodice ending like right at the underside of my boobs. And it just makes me look bigger because then you have tight and then a lot of volume right here. Whereas when I make a lot of my own dresses, like the dresses, the dress I'm wearing right now I made, and so I always make the bodice a little bit longer so that it hits me at like a natural narrow point in my waist because I think it gives me a better silhouette overall. So that's been one of the consistent issues with a lot of these plus size releases that brands have been doing. Like even my Nanette dress from Atelier Piero, that was kind of an issue because the bust curve is not getting changed at all. The dress is just being made wider. You know, when your big titties little waist, that's, it doesn't work and you just, you start end up loafing up and that's why I also removed the straps in my no net so that I could wear it a little bit lower which will give me kind of an arrow look but at the same time like it's I have to because otherwise it sits way up here and it just doesn't it looks stupid like so I still have it I still like it and I want to get a couple more blouses to kind of go with it so that I can keep wearing it but it's just been an issue for me personally that they aren't doing anything to actually change the pattern cutting except for just making it wider because uh, Night Whisper is primarily America located, she kind of, she gets it a little more. So this is really nice. I love this. I love the color. I'm super glad I went with the blue. It will need a steam. And bitch, there's pockets. <laughs> yes! 
There's no zipper, which is fine because side zippers are a pain in the ass. So I'd rather not. Ooh, this is a really nice roomy pocket. I don't, I don't think it's like switch roomy, but I have, I have a Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus, which is like one of their bigger phones. And I keep it in like this absolute wad of a case because it's my wallet. So let's see, give it the, ooh. <laughs> I have pants that don't have pockets this big. So this is awesome. It will hold your giant fucking phone. Love it. We love to see it. Oh. We got two pockets. So the pockets are also lined with the same material. So in theory, if you, for some reason, like missed out on this order and you bought it secondhand off lace market and you needed a different size, you could use the fabric from the pockets to get that. So you could. So I really love it. This material is so soft. I can't stop petting it. It is wrinkled like a bitch. So it is pretty wrinkled. It's been sitting in a bag for like a week because I've been trying to find time to film. Let's go on to some of the sewing techniques here. Oh, we got a little bit. Okay, we just gotta pull some tension out of that ruffle there. So these are rolled hems on the ruffles, which is really nice. Makes it a really nice lightweight edge as opposed to surging and folding. And that way it helps trap that edge and keep it from fraying all over the place. There is surging along the inside as well on that bottom edge there and all along the seam as well as top stitching. So beautifully finished. Okay, and the lining is just like a really nice breathable cotton. So I could see this being really nice on like a warm spring day. Just something really cute to wear out with the girls. I was a little disappointed we did a meetup a few weeks ago where we went to a pick your own flower place and they did like a brunch thing and I was like this would have been great with it but on the other hand I'm glad I wore something else because the other concern is that some of the wild plants and wildlife some of the plants and things would have had thorns or pickers or burrs or whatever that would have kind of pulled on the fabric and pulled the threads out of alignment. This is gorgeous. I kind of want the black now, or at least I'd like to see the black in person because I could see this being stunning in black. You could do all sorts of different color blouses with it as well because of all the colors in this. Honestly, I could even maybe even wear this blouse with it because it would match some of the color tones in the piece. I would not try to match this blue to be honest. I think, I think you would have a very hard time trying to match. Is this an enclosed bodice? Let's see. It is. So the bodice is totally enclosed, so that means it will be a pain in the dick if you do need to alter it for any reason, because you'll have to go to the inside of the dress. You can see how it's stitched together right there. You'd have to unpick all of that stitching. And it's surged. Oh, fuck me. But yeah, you'd have to go and unpick all of that stitching to get to the actual bodice parts to let it out or take it in. A take is always easier though. A take in, I know it's very simple. I know it's not like the most exciting. Like there's not like a ton of lace. There isn't like Usakumiya all over it or some shit, whatever. But I think it's beautiful. I think it's very simple. You could even, you could dress this down with like a nice cute cardigan or something or a little pullover. And in theory, you could maybe wear this to like a wedding as just a guest like don't wear a petticoat with it get a cute little cardigan or sweater or something wear a cute little heel and you could wear this to like a family event and it would be better than something from torrid and yes i am gonna slam torrid here even though i have some items from torrid the last dress i bought at torrid for a friend's wedding was like 75 dollars and it was entirely made of jersey knit which is fine i like stretchy stuff because i'm lazy like this dress is stretchy but it wasn't lined and it was all just like surge so it was the fastest they could crank it out and this fucker for only 85 dollars fully lined with cotton surge stitched really nice construction quality for what i paid this would be so cute at a wedding if it's if it's appropriate like obviously if you're concerned whenever wanting to wear alt fashion or lolita to a wedding reach out to the bride or a friend of the bride and just say hey is this outfit cool i think you could you could even wear this at like 
Do people do like spring soirees? I don't know. What do people do? What 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 do humans do for entertainment on this planet? Because I don't know anymore. So for colors that I would try to combine it with for coordinating it, white obviously. I would go with a dark blue. You see how there's some like dark blue on it, and in some of the butterflies you have like a darker blue. I think that would look really nice. I think that'd be a fun way to kind of mix it up is to wear like a navy blue blouse underneath. You could do a gold blouse, but you're gonna have to do the whole look up. Like it's gotta be dramatic, I feel like, if you're gonna go with a gold blouse, but that's me. Like I could possibly wear it with this. Oh yeah, because it kind of matches with like, see this pink here? How it, it matches really close. So in theory, could wear this together. I don't know if I would. Like if I absolutely had to, I could. But this is kind of like, this is like a, a muted or desaturated sort of dusty rose. And this dress being so vibrant overall in tone, it might look a little mismatched. Like you might want a little bit brighter of a pink. But I don't think it would be super bad. You could go weird and you could try and pull out some of these like jade greens or forest greens. I think that would look really cool with it. I I think this is really nice. It's it's very simple, but I think the fabric itself feels really nice on the hand. Like I keep I keep petting it. It does feel like a solid chiffon. If you're ever in Joann's and you're just dicking around, go over to their apparel and look for the solid chiffons and kind of like touch them and you'll see what I mean. So it feels really nice and silky. The inside looks like, I'm gonna say cotton batiste or cotton lawn. So it's not like rough, it's just really smooth. This will be breathable, lightweight, perfect for spring. Got it just in time for September when it's going into the winter months. I'm gonna try it on with something and see how it looks. Give me just a few minutes. Okay, look at that, get to see the rest of my messy sewing space slash filming studio. Okay, so this is just something quick I threw together. This is the aforementioned he may sleeve blouse. It's not like the most mind blowing coordinate, but deal with it. The, the headband I actually got at the first event I met Puvathal at. It was when she was doing one of her uh, paper flower crafting headband tutorials. And she was trying to get us to like, and just do it along the whole thing. And I went rogue and did like an asymmetrical thing. So I'm gonna try and tie on this super long band here. This is amazing, my God. This is a long boy. And no, I did not iron this dress. I literally took it out of the bag and now I'm just putting it on. So, because that's the kind of, you know, dedication to detail that you can expect out of this YouTube channel. Is. That is one thing that seems a little interesting. I might actually have to take add a buttonhole to these straps because I have kind of narrow shoulders. For this waist sash, there's no belt loops to hold it in place. So you kind of just have to have the power of God and anime on your side there. Like even like a chain stitch loop on either side to help hold it in place is very roomy. I would maybe like the bodice a, a little longer, like maybe an inch longer, but it's a minor quibble. Super comfy though. Fits like a dream. Again, this is the 2X. My bust, I think is roughly 51 inches, which is about 128 centimeters. So um, it's stacked, all right? I got too much going on, but it's super comfy and it's even got a little room beyond that. So that's amazing. I would maybe, eh, it's not super necessary. I could almost like dart it in a little bit at either side of the bust just to get it to lay a little more flat, but it's not like super critical. Like my whole life isn't a disaster because of it. So this is just, I'm not wearing a petticoat. What did I say about attention to detail? I'm going to throw on the black coat petticoat I've been wearing today because I wanna see I wanna check the opacity. My petticoat is the Me Likes Tea Rose A-Line in Voile. I really like their Voile petticoats. I prefer it over Organza. This Voile is, it's a little bit softer. Voile is like the step, at least poly Voile. Sounds like a Pokemon. Polyester Voile fabric is a step between poly chiffon and Organza, in my opinion. That would be a great drag name, Poly Organza. I don't know shit about drag. I only watch uh, and listen to some Tiger Call songs. But anyway, this is super cute. This, see, 
Bitch, this could be a wedding dress if you wanted it to. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. Oh, so this is just with the rose wall petticoat, A-line petticoat from Me Likes Tea. I'm sorry, my microphone is gonna pick up a lot of that swishing. Ugh, this lays so nice. This is so cute. Sorry, I'm off camera. I could definitely add another button to the straps and make them a little, a little tighter. Let's let's get this guy a little bit tighter here. It's hard tying like a nice waist bow because you don't want it too tight if you're planning to sit down at any point because then it's gonna cut into you. But if you have it too sloppy, it's just gonna fall off. I should have put on tights with this, shouldn't I? For shoes with this, with this particular blouse, I think I would do my gold antique ribbon shoes. And I think I would do some like gold jewelry and gold accessories. And that would kind of pick up some of the yellows. The necklace I'm wearing is a Victorian maiden necklace. It's actually, it's really cool. It's a perfume bottle necklace. So it's got a little chamber inside and you can put like your favorite like scents in there and dab up a little throughout the day if you need. And as you can see, so yeah, it sits way up here. And then if we go around to the back, like it sits a good couple of inches lower just because it's just my body. It's just a thing it does when you cram it full of Cheetos and ice cream for 35 years. Ugh, all right. No, all jokes aside, I'm super happy with this for $85, like, total steal. You cannot go wrong. Well, you can if you order the wrong size, but... But Night Whisper is also, she's really helpful for like returning stuff, so she's really great. She's easy to talk to. I think it's a winner. I'm almost tempted to get the black one or maybe the or maybe the red, because now that I see kind of everything in person, I feel like the red would be really fun to play with like more contrast. Maybe doing the red because you would get a little bit more contrast with a lot of the colors on the dress itself. I'm not that brave. I'm not that person. I will say I would probably need to either pick my undergarments carefully or always wear a blouse with it because yeah, it's also, this bra is like kind of not a good bra to wear without a blouse because of how it cuts. So my bra cuts like here and then up, whereas you can see the dress cuts here. So you would get some visible bra here and you would have a visible strap here. That is something to keep in mind, but if you do like one of those convertible strapless bras that every girl owns and low-key hates, that would probably work because those are typically cut a little bit lower and then that way you can either move the straps or remove them entirely and not have to worry about that and just, you know, worry instead about feeling like your tits are sagging all day. So you do have options. On the serious note, it's a nice dress. Go to nightwhisperdesign.com, shop through her. You're supporting a small time designer. So this whole coordinate, like the, the blouse and the, the dress would be maybe 150 bucks with shipping. So that's, that's not that bad. And for it to fit me when I'm an absolute unit, I think it's a good deal. I keep petting it, it's very soft. I'd do different makeup with it too. I wasn't, I was, I'm not gonna redo my whole fucking makeup. Like it took me 30 minutes just to get to filming. So, so yes, this was a good decision. I'm happy with it. I'm happy to wear it out for like more low key things. I think it'll be really nice in the spring and even on summer days because it's so light and because it has that breathable layer of cotton lining, I think it'll be really nice for those days when you can just kind of tone it down a little bit. I'm pretty happy with it. I like the belt with it. Um, I do wish that there were maybe some belt loops on the side. I love that it's got roomy as hell pockets that can actually hold shit. So that's very exciting. I love the color. It is a unique blue. So, sorry, I'm like, I'm getting a coordinate idea because I have this blouse in black and I have, you remember when I did my like devil inspired review and I talked about these hats I bought and one was like black and blue, which I was like, okay. I think that would also look really good with this because I think it would help this all kind of pop. And so that's a way that you could almost take it, I wouldn't know what to call that, cause it's, I guess it would be, I guess it would be like um, gothic classic. Clothic? Gassic? Yeah, we'll call it gassic. That doesn't sound terrible at all. Don't call it that. I think 
because then you kind of work in like this beautiful flower motifs. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I lied. I'm going to try that real quick. Hold up. This didn't turn out as successful as I'd hoped. I do like using the wider elastic belt. I've seen these before where they have like a butterfly shaped buckle. So I think that would be cute with it. Something about the hat shape and the <laughs> buckle. This isn't, this isn't leaning gasic. Like I, like I thought I, it would. Um, this is giving me more yeehaw country K. Like I'm the fucking bad guy in a really bad Western, which fine, but like I had an idea and it didn't pan out. So, and that's okay. That's why we try things on. Okay. If the hair was different, like it's growing on me as I look at it. This hat has these two like absolute absolutely massive clips to like clip it into your hair and hold it hostage um so you can you kind of you can see them a little bit here and here like the ends of them which is like so it might be ow ow and because my hair is curly it it in, it ensnares everything that dares to come into its path maybe i don't i don't know god there's Clippings are really obnoxious though. I'll have to, I have to do something about it. Anyway, but I think, yeah, maybe this with like some tarnished gold jewelry, like similar to kind of the look of the belt, even though this is tarnished silver, so maybe like tarnished gold could be kind of cool. This blouse I'm wearing with it, that's one of the plus size meta bishop sleeve blouses that I am obsessed with. Like for real. Love this fucking blouse so goddamn much. It just Oh, oh, look, oh, swishy. I feel like a witch. It's awesome. Anyway, this is why we try things. I could, s I feel like this look has potential. Maybe it's something to do with my hair. Maybe it's something to do with the, the fucking hat. I don't know, but I feel like it's got potential. So this is, this is why it's important to like kind of play around with ideas and things and try different things on for shoes. I would wear black cowboy boots. Yeehaw. It has potential. What I think would also be fun is, I think the company is called Centaro. It's the one Taobao brand that has like those like cascading waterfall sleeves and it's like a crop chiffon blouse and they have like, it comes in 80 fucking colors. Just buy a shit ton of those. I do need to get a few. And I know 42 Agent, one of the Taobao middlemen, has a specific Lolita website now, 42lolita.com, and you can just buy their most popular things through it, and that blouse is on there. And it's like 30 bucks. I do want to buy some of those at some point because they just look so comfy. Like, I want to get a burgundy one to go with Nanette because I think that would look really cool with all the different ragged tiers of material through the skirt. And I want to get the emerald green one because it's emerald green and I want to get like the peacock blue one and the dusty corn blue one, which might actually look really nice with this. Basically, I want to spend $400 on fucking Taobao blouses is where I'm at right now. Maybe for Christmas. That's what I'll do. I would recommend trying things out and just to like even do flat lays. I think this is, oh, this fucking hat. Oh, God. oh, hair. Give me the hat, please. This is why... <laughs> ow, ow, fuck. Oh. I think that's why there's a lot of value in doing flat lays and things. Just to kind of get an idea of how shit goes together. That still looks good, even though it's got white flowers in it, because there's a lot of like light bits of uh, white throughout the print. Or at least... There's lighter areas in the print. There isn't straight up white in the print, but it helps kind of blend in the white flowers a little bit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I wouldn't do these earrings with it. They were, they're not quite right. That's okay. Overall, yeah, I really like this dress. I think it's very lovely. It's very comfortable. I'm confident that it's durable. It's something that I could wash in the machine. I would probably wash it inside out. That's, I recommend that for generally most brand things, no matter what, just because it helps protect your exterior fabric from the agitator in your machine or throw it in a lingerie bag. I got a great deal on two massive lingerie bags from Target. They were like $4 a piece, especially right now with all of these back to school, back to college sales. 
like now is the time to buy that kind of thing. I'm happy with it. I'm excited to try it out next spring. I don't know if I could do a winter cord with it, maybe. Cause it's kind of, it's weird because butterflies are like springtime and you know, that whole shenanigan. Wow, that looks, that's how much hair that fucking hat took out of my head. But I think it, it has potential. I think combining it with different shades of blue would look really nice. I think working in some other pops. The black, I don't totally hate. I just haven't found the right mix for it yet. I just, oh God, and I really love these blouses. So if you want an affordable, comfortable dress that comes in a variety of sizes, I recommend nightwhisperdesign.com. She's super friendly. I'm really excited to see what other designs she has in the future. So that is all for today. Thank you for joining me in this little bit of chaos. Did you pre-order this dress? Do you have the black or the burgundy colorway? What do you think of it? What size did you get? How well did it fit your frame? How have you thought about courting it? Have you purchased other things from Night Whisper Design? Have you been watching any of her uh, fashion walks that have been at the various conventions? I think most recently she went to Akon. I think. I don't, I'm not super good at keeping up on things. I just, people are like, oh, Techos this weekend. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then that's, I don't know. I just, I live in a, in a bubble, I guess. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching this chaotic review. I hope you had a great time. I hope it helped you out a little. If you want to treat yourself and get something really nice and affordable, I do recommend this dress. I think it'll be a great look for anyone. If you have any thoughts, concerns, questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I upload when I can. I've always said, oh, I'll try to upload, you know, every couple of months. I'll upload when I can. Any thoughts, concerns, questions, let me know. I always respond if I think I have something to contribute to a conversation. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and take care. We've got two pockets! Uh, oh god. Alright, I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm wearing bloomers, so don't get excited. Oh, yeah, this is dignity. Okay, this didn't turn out as... A, as <coughs> I have a very dusty house, because I don't clean. I'd love to see it. Every girl knows. If you give a girl pockets, she'll carry all your shit for you for the rest of her life. I'm trying to get a full body shot. There we go. Oh yeah, who wants to see my hairy legs? Cause I haven't shaved in two and a half years. I have my shit together. I'm a grown adult.